Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, I will implement a polynomial regression from scratch that is using only Python and NumPy, no other library. So, polynomial regression is a type of regression analysis in machine learning that models a relationship between independent variables, that is the input variables, and the dependent variable as a polynomial function. It extends the concept of linear regression by introducing higher order terms of the independent variables and what is meant by higher order these uh, square cubes to the power 4 to the power n these values so the general equation is represented by this y is the dependent variable here and that's what we are trying to predict and we have all these x as the independent variable and this is how it is represented the whole polynomial equation so polynomial regression can be considered an instance of multiple linear regression instead of fitting a straight line or a hyperplane polynomial regression fits a curve or a surface to the data points So this method uh, calculate gradient uh, calculates the gradients of the loss function with respect to the weights and bias and this is used uh, in the back propagation step of gradient descent optimization algorithm. So these formulas that are used here for DW and DB, that is gradient of loss with respect to weights and gradient of loss with respect to bias, this is a formula which is arrived by applying the gradient calculation a mathematical technique on the vectorized form of your data set. In case you are interested, there's a multitude of uh, blogs available online. You can just look through them for actual derivation of these mathematical formula but for gradients uh, most of the libraries directly use this formula because the mathematics behind is not really needed just for implementing the formula here and next i need another method uh, to add features to the input data that is i want to make my input data a polynomial data so i am going to use this method create polynomial feature set well, this, so this function is used to transform the input data by adding higher degree features. This is useful in the context of polynomial regression where the relationship between independent and dependent variable is modeled as an nth degree polynomial. So for example, this is an important comment that I have put um, just for understanding. Suppose we have one feature x and we want to add a second degree polynomial regression so we transform x into x and x square so i have two input data instead of just x and in case if you choose uh, the degrees to be two and three then the transformed x would be like this x then x square then x cube
All right, when you run this uh, plotting method, this is the plot we get for our polynomial regression. Here, all these uh, yellow lines, yellow dots actually, they are the true data points and these red line which is by connecting the red dots actually is the our predicted polynomial regression that is these red dots are all these y hat which is what we get after executing the predict method which will give us a predicted y values that is the dependent variable predictions and by connecting those we get uh, these uh, red plots so we can see it pretty much uh, pretty much fits the actual data points but we can measure the uh, how much how good the fitness is by calculating the r square score so next we will do that and uh, we will apply this method here of course we could use sklearns uh, in build method but here as we are doing it from scratch so i'm going to build a quick method for calculating the r square and the formula i'm going to use is uh, this one where sse is the explained sum of square is the sum of the squared differences between the predicted values and the mean of the dependent variable and tss is the total sum of square is the sum of the squared differences between the actual values and the mean of the dependent variable and uh, in both formulation r square ranges from 0 to 1 a higher r squared value indicates a better fit of the regression model to the data where 1 indicates a perfect fit and 0 indicates an absolutely imperfect fit that is zero means that the model does not explain any of the variance in the dependent variable so let's see what our score is And here we get a pretty high R squared score here, uh, which is 0.95. That's a wrap for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. See you in the next one.